And now we present How Brental Floss Ceased to Feel the Burn. The crowd roared. Led by the fearless Brent, they stormed the castle and flooded the convention floor. Brent seized the microphone on stage. You know what we demand, and you know that deep down you basically want it too. With a pounding of this gavel, I hereby amend the democratic election process. And Brent raised the gavel up in the air, ready to empower a new generation of voters. But before he could bring it down... <laughs> Brent, wait! Huh? W what is this about? Hey, Brent! Yes, Travis? Have you ever insisted that your friend choose the restaurant you're gonna go to, but once you get there, you really regretted giving him the option to choose? Oh boy, have I. If I ever again get dragged to that awful hole-in-the-wall Senegalese buffet downtown, I'm gonna... Wait, hold on. Can we just get to the point? How about this time we skip the whole phony question-and-response attention-grabber shtick that we do on our Trends Like These podcast? Fine. The point is... Think about the floodgates you're about to open here. Have you ever stopped to think about what happens when you let the general population make crucial decisions free from any kind of checks and balances? And just like that, Brent instantly understood. Oh my gosh, everybody. T Travis is totally right. Y you folks, all of you, you common everyday citizens, you're unqualified to make this kind of choice. And when you think about it, the same thing has already happened in the Brental Floss community. Remember my panel at the Too Many Games convention in Philadelphia? <laughs> oh boy, was that a mess. Yeah. I hosted a panel where a bunch of fans helped me come up with lyrics for a new song. I gave them some options so they could vote on which piece of video game music we would use. Really, all along, I just wanted them to pick Sparkman from Mega Man, but no. They put their heads together and insisted that we do the hardest option, Gusty Garden from Super Mario Galaxy 2. And we all know how that turned out. You guys hadn't even settled on a general theme by the time the hour we had booked was over. Ugh. And then it happened again with Brental Floss the comic. We had this contest where a bunch of fans made their own fan comic strips, and then we had everybody vote on the two best ones, which became official canon episodes of the comic. And the two that you guys all chose were pretty weak. They were ones that we were really sure wouldn't come out on top. And so it all goes to show that the general population doesn't know what's best for itself. Given the opportunity, they would focus group themselves to death. So you know what, Debbie? I apologize. Now get back up on up here and do what you do best. Forgive me, Bernie. And with great triumph, from way up in the nosebleeds, Debbie Wasserman Schultz swooped down in a paragliding rig. I must apologize. I should have realized that just like my fans don't know how to help me create content, so too do the American people not know how to vote effective leaders into office. Now you see the truth! Now, let's go ahead and let these super-voting superdelegates shove Hillary through the system! And she brought down her gavel with a crushing boom, perpetuating another century of business as usual. But before they could proceed with the rest of the typical boring convention speeches, an 11-year-old kid in the front row was furiously raising his hand to ask a question. Um, yes, little one? <clears throat> yeah, uh, now that you don't care what your fans think or whatever, are you even gonna bother to answer YouTube comments and tweets and stuff anymore? But of course. Putting you neophytes in your place is what I do best. I mean, take you for instance. Where's your mom? Were you even born before the Y2K scare? Do you even know what Napster is? <laughs> Anyways, Debbie, go ahead and shove Hillary upon these folk like you were destined to do because I feel the burn. B-U-R-N, as in heartburn. Nothing to do with Bernie anymore. I had a large breakfast burrito this morning. Do you get it? 